we're back. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, you know, we had a little bit of side chat going on, yeah. which unfortunately wasn't shown. Yeah, but unfortunately, I couldn't get the chat to work today. I, I had it working before the stream, and then I stopped the preview, and it didn't work. But to answer Johnny's question, uh, I personally haven't been able to read any of New 52, uh, just because I do not buy comics. Uh, I do like comics, I like their storylines, I like their plots, but I do not have the patience to wait every however long the time span is between episodes. Or yeah, issues. It depends on the series, too. That too. Some are a week, some are a month. Uh, uh, I hear New 52, as general, is just great, and I do like a lot of the New 52 stuff. Yeah. The only New 52 I read was some of the Batman ones. I... Uh, New 52 is... Uh, Actually, a lot of the infamous, uh, the game that takes in the, I yeah. think that takes in the New Fifty Two universe. Yeah, so that's one of the bigger reasons why I'm a fan of it. But uh, back to our schedule programming. Which, yes, uh, I actually, go with schedule. <laughs> uh, for me, this is where I get to take main stage, and you get to ask me a bunch of questions. Oh about yeah. It. Uh, I got a chance to play Dying Light, which I know is brand new, but it's about two weeks old, I believe, right? Yeah. Uh, great game. Not too old. Yeah, it's not too old. Pretty current. Uh, I just got my hands on it this weekend, because it's been a long weekend. <laughs> hey. Hi. How you doing? Uh, <coughs> I really wish the chat was working this way. I know. It's a really popular week for a chat. Yeah, I know. But, uh, hi, Fear's Imagination. Uh, welcome to the show. Yep. Uh, but... Yeah, I've got to play Dying Light. I was super pumped about it. Uh, you know, I heard all good things, so I was like, oh, okay, I'll give it a try. Turns out to be the best parkour game I've ever played. Oh, really? The best. Uh, better than Mirror's Edge, better than any Assassin's Creed, better than anything you can think of so far that I've played. <laughs> it has been a while. Yes, it has. But, uh, so, personally, the mechanics in the game are phenomenal. The only thing I have trouble with is the weapon breaking system, which isn't that bad of a complaint, given that it's a apocalyptic world game. Yeah, I mean, if if your weapon's never broke or anything, got damaged or whatever. Yeah, that's actually that's actually a feature that was in games a long time ago that I, I kind of missed. Uh, it's it's more so annoying in this one though I find, because uh, it's a game where for the first time in a long time I feel underpowered. <laughs> it's not one of those games where it gives you a ton of power because, hey, having tons of power and running around is fun. Mm -hmm. It's more of, uh, you know what I mean, people bashing their heads in, you know what I mean, but you have to choose which one you do it, but you never feel like you can't take on a zombie. You okay. take on a zombie. But when but, you come to a horde. Or even three or four, it becomes a more elegant situation where you can probably uh, take them out, but you need to be strategic about it. You need to... You know what I mean? For example, I choose to do my skills more like a evasive uh, character, instead of more of a uh, big damage dealer. And Johnny, thank you for reading it. It is a great game. Uh, maybe sometime you can join us for a game. Oh uh, yeah, be fun. But uh, so it uh, <laughs> it was. It's one of those things where I felt. I was slightly underpowered in a good way. I, mean, I had to think more than just randomly going so, on Dead Rising 3, you know, S Dead Rising 3, where you just kind of go, ha ha ha, ha ha, look at my kill streak, it's three bajillion. So, you're under, you feel like you're underpowered in a good way. Yeah. Cause so, so you can't just, you know, go in and, yeah, la, 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 yeah. And, and zombies just blow up around you and everything. Or, but, oh, sorry, go ahead. Did you play Dead Island? As I was going to compare it to. In, my main complaint with Dead Island was the stamina bar was horrible. It would it would you'd be gone in like two swings, but it takes three swings to kill a zombie. That is completely apparent in this. Uh, I don't know much, as much of a problem with it as though, because in that game, stamina was also related to your running. Yeah, in this There's game, it's not it's separate. Separate? There's though you do get tired running. <laughs> you can run, and you can continue running while you're tired. You just kind of slow down, but you can still perform dodges. And back rolls and vaults and jumps, even if you're standing on slow. Well, it's basically supposed to be this, you know, parkour guy. Yeah, but early on, you eventually get upgrades that help you out with that, and you yeah. don't really get that tired anymore. Like even I'm, I just started unlocking second tier abilities. Even that gave me a huge boost in my stamina. I uh, also sometimes, you know, I mean, it has 
more chance modifiers like oh sometimes when you repair something it doesn't take a repair modifier away so you can repair it another time uh, which is great skill to have so it's a lot of fun uh, the combat's interesting it's hilarious oh, yeah. for I the first it, yeah. 40 minutes I laughed so hard of just me with a blunt object just whacking something across the face hitting off against a wall and then it falling down it's not dead it's not even close to being dead but it's freaking hilarious I had to pause the game and stop because I laughed so hard <laughs> but, I'm just picturing you pausing the game, laughing, walking outside, like going for a three and a half mile jog, jog, jog laugh, <laughs> <laughs> coming back, picking up the game, <laughs> doing it again, and then running outside because you just can't stop. Oh god! But uh, it, it's actually really good. Guys, wow. <laughs> yeah, probably the music could, is something that is to be a little bit desired, but I do like the. Uh, terrible screaming that happens uh, that is something that puts the fear of God into you when you hear them just like scream from miles away you're like are they near or are they far or are they coming after me or are they just screaming in general because they're douches I don't know so it is something uh, very very new to me uh, just because you know it's Dead Island-esque but a little bit harder in a good way and it's got some of the best tracking of parkour that I've ever had uh, I've fallen off buildings. Like, literally just went, whoops. Now, on any other game, that means you're dead. I mean, you've slipped and fell. You're dead. On this game, you can actually you actually have to physically look at the objects that you're trying to grab. So the way it helps your tracking a little bit better. I immediately flipped my thumb up, looked, and then grabbed it. And then got back up. <laughs> We're doing good. We're doing good. Yeah, doing okay. good. Especially for Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday for a long weekend. Yeah. But, what do you think of the uh, weapon customization in the game? It's fun. Uh, it's very Dead, Dead Island-esque. A lot of things of it are Dead Island-esque, which I don't think is a bad thing, but it's a good game, it's, overall. It's not made by the same people. Company, or it's made by the same people, I think. Okay. But, uh, I mean, it's good. Uh, you have to find blueprints, which you can find throughout the world, or buy them. Uh, I'll get into that in a second. That's my one criticism about the game. Uh, but... You can buy them, then you can make them on the fly. You don't have to go back to like a tool station. You can make anything you want on the fly. Oh, okay. Repairing that, items. That is cool. That's the one bigger thing that I like about it. Is <laughs> was... uh, in Dead Island, you have to go back to repair something. You, you mean you had a nice katana, it broke. You have to work all the way back home to repair it. This one, you literally hold mm -hmm. Y, and he kind of goes like this with duct tape. It all sends back to being usable. Again. <laughs> it goes like this. I'm just picturing Far Cry Four where shot in the face. Better fix that broken thumb. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's a good system so far. Uh, but my big problem, my two big problems with it. One, it's very hard to get better weapons. I, uh, I, I don't know if I would find that to be a problem with it being an apocalypse, apocalyptic game. Yes, but once you start getting into human fights, where you're fighting humans who don't go down in one, two, three, four, five, eight swings because you have a shitty weapon, it becomes a problem for you. Because there's three of them. And so what you're doing is you're literally jumping around dodging them and they're throwing knives at you and while you're trying to hit one dude. But your hits aren't doing any damage. You hit them, does a small amount of damage, but they can still counter you, which you have to then roll back from and then put you in a predictable position. So getting the, and the game I believe does scale because it seems like the, the enemies are harder to kill now. <laughs> but if you kill someone who's bigger, if you take big risks, like taking out the big, heavier dudes, you get good weapons. So you can do it that way as well. My second big complaint is money. I am constantly having money issues in that game. I constantly can't buy anything. <laughs> the reason being is I don't search enough. I'm more object focused than general. Well, let's just racing gears running around in a parkour. Whee! Actually, I'm running in a straight line to my destination using parkour. Yeah. And that's very fun for me, but I miss a lot of consumables because of that. And the game is really based upon you finding hidden treasures like, oh, here's a bag of coffee. A bag of coffee in that game is 100 bucks. So you find 10 bags of coffee, you made a thousand dollars. Damn. Listen, post apocalyptic world, people gotta have the coffee. Oh, yeah. Ooh. The world shuts down if you don't have coffee in post apocalyptic world. How much are condoms worth? Uh, I haven't picked one up yet. 
I'm no, guessing that's a million dollars right there. <laughs> I was saying, I'm guessing a lot of girls got pregnant. <laughs> that's the golden con. That was the last one. <laughs> oh, extra, extra small. <laughs> it's got to go to Jimmy. <laughs> but uh, Jimmy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry about that. His name is Jimmy. I think it's a Johnny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I could see me accidentally saying Johnny too, just because the name's right there. By uh, Fears of Imagination. Yes. Yep. For you popping in. Uh, if that means you're going, I think. Yeah. I say, I think he's leaving. Anyways, so it's. But even with that major gripe, I've found enough weapons to keep my inventory stocked at all times. So I never earn without weapons. <laughs> uh, a very interesting thing that they hard coded into the game, which I thought was fantastic first time I saw it. I got pretty much jumped by three guys. Humans, not infected. It was infected, I could have fallen them off. I started dying, I had no med kits. I had found a rifle and bullets. I only had 15 bullets. I took out my gun and aimed it down the sides of their heads. I just aimed it at them. And they actually started fearing. Like, they started, they're like, they didn't move towards me anymore. They kind of was more reserved. And the closer I got to them, they actually ran away. It's all except one. One guy was strong enough, was brave enough to fight me, and he called my bluff because I wasn't about to shoot that because more zombies would come because it's a loud sound. So he called my bluff. <laughs> so I then dwindled my numbers from a three on one to a one on one. I was much more comfortable with it, and I ended up winning that fight because of it. I think that's a fantastic way of handling that. So overall, I mean, it was very interesting so yeah. far. I can't can't wait to get that actually. Also, uh, nothing is more satisfying than drop kicking a zombie. Oh yeah, I've seen that so much. <laughs> I can just watch a montage of just drop kicking zombies. Oh, it's, Dude. A, it's a double footed drop kick too. Oh okay, no, he's he full, he goes full out. He comes up, he jumps, and doesn't even put his arms down. He just he's out. He's a board. And uh, the the amount of force you hit them with uh, once you level up a second time because there's an improved drop kick where you do more damage. They just start flying. I kick them off roofs, which is hilarious because they die. <laughs> uh, I've kicked them into things. I kicked them into other zombies, yeah. even. Now here's my question: Have you come across the hazmat zombies? Yes, and they screw you every time. Have you have you have you just hit them enough to knock the thing off? Oh, I hit them in the back. Yeah. And did you knock the just the knob off? Yeah, I've done it. And you watched them go flying away. Yeah, and then they blow up, and then all the zombies in the world come killing you. Not chasing you, killing you. Well, Jacob, you're, you you do it, you watch it, and then you run. <laughs> yeah, but when they're in your objective area... Oh, okay. <laughs> also, when you don't hit them, but the big guy that has a gigantic comp, like cinder block shaped object hits them and blows them up, and you don't notice for a second, and then you look on your mini-map, and there's 14 zombies on you? Because, and again... You haven't played it yet, so you don't understand how fearful running zombies are. Running zombies don't stop. Mm -hmm. They will chase you to the end of the earth. Okay. You climb a 14-story building, they climb a 14-story building. I think we're saying, what the fuck? Yeah. They're very ter terrifying. That's why it makes night so terrifying, because those zombies are actually on patrol <laughs> at night. So you can get through places at night. I've done it. I've, I had to get back to the base at night oh yeah so I've run but if you get anywhere near them and make a sound or show your flashlight or anything like that you better be in a very fun running mood because <laughs> you are running all the way back no matter what you do okay and my last question now you seem to be doing a lot of the mis main missions and maybe side missions so do you think this would be even just a fun game to just run around and actually just I, haven't, off? I haven't been doing quests that much I've been doing main course missions but even just doing things like I've gone off and I try to secure as many safe houses as I, as I could and just generally kind of going to these things exploring the world finding cool park portraits it is so big and so expensive oh, it's God. so much fun just to I can see that being a world where I goof off in where I'm just like alright guys alright everyone zip line and we all zip line to a building yeah. is that just a line zip line. that's what we gotta do the whole time zip line <laughs> But, you know, zipline to a building, running, or playing, like, <laughs> tag or chicken or follow the leader. You know what I mean? All that's possible in that game, and that would all make a great 
great uh, game. Oh, okay. So, my preliminary had it for a few days review, I would probably give it a 9.5 out of 10. Wow. It's very high up there. Uh, their criticisms are there, but they're not game breaking. You know what I mean? It feels like a little unfair to you, but it's a good unfair. It's like a challenge. It's it, it's not Dark Souls unfair where the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> where, what do you call it? The, the collision. Yeah. The collision physics are all messed up, and that's what makes the game so hard. But, I mean, it's good. It's a very good balance. It keeps you intrigued. It keeps you fearful of things without making it so that way when they happen, you're like, well, time to turn off this run because I'm not winning. So, And I'm guessing it doesn't. it's not going to become like The Last of Us where at the end of the game you didn't fear the zombies, but you feared every person you saw. Oh, no, you always fear all the people. But I don't know if you played Last of Us, have you? At the end of the, last, of the Last of Us, I didn't fear the zombies at all. Like there, There's one of the last levels in the game is a giant underground tunnel, like an old freeway, and it's completely flooded, and you have to sneak through because their zombies are everywhere. If you if you try to fight them, you're dead. Yeah. But I had no problem with it because I no longer feared the zombies. But the second the cutscene showed people, I freaked out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you told me eight hundred zombies, not three people. It was two. Yep. <laughs> Cutscene so two people. So then this though, people are more deadly than the yeah. zombies. I, I I like games that actually show that too. Yeah. Like Last of Us and seems like that um Yeah. Dying Light. So yeah. Well also, you know, zombies in this game are stupid. Yeah. For the most part. Unless you're running zombies. Yeah. You can run away from them. You can run on top of their heads. I've jumped off heads. You know what I mean? And kept going. But people, if people are after you, they shoot you, they throw gut throwing knives at you, they beat you down. They won't they just kill you. They don't care. Also, my last thing that I really like about this game, it breaks your things into three categories. Yeah. Survival, power, and agility. Oh, that's a nice way to break down. Yeah. Cool part is, anything you do in any of those categories, hitting something, killing somebody, jumping, vaulting, running, ziplining, uh, completing a mission, crafting something, mock picking, gives so, experience to their... So it's like, it's like an Elder Scrolls leveling up system then? Kind of. The best part about it is, if for example, say you're really good at getting away from people, you'll continually get better at running away from people while gradually getting better at fighting. Nice. So your main skill that you're good at, like running. I'm great at doing parkour in that game. My agility is slightly higher than my power right now. But I'm also pretty good at combat. I suck at being a survival stuff. <laughs> so, so how do I put this together? <laughs> Well, because I don't take time to craft things. Yes. I'm more of just like, all right, I'll work with what I have. So with all that, my survival is low, but it doesn't need to be high because I'm functioning very high with my agility. Oh, God. So it's really cool. And you can go out and work on the others if you really wanted to. That and also uh, main missions give you more survivability. Bugs. Okay. So it's cool. That's a good point. Okay, and we got a little bit of time left here. And yep. we'll just we got a bit of an announcement for everybody. Fine. We got a bit of an announcement for everyone. No, just like how you went from like Teletubbies like, Announcement! Yeah. <laughs> Would you like prefer Care Bear Stare? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe the Care Bear Stare. Care Bear Stare and just watch Care Bears just fuck shit up. <laughs> okay, anyways, that's, that's a violent attack. Yeah. So, uh, as a lot of people in the world and especially the Northeast know, yep. uh, very soon, March 6th to 8th, Yes. Is PAX East? Yes, very big Penny Arcade Expo, uh, where a lot of YouTubers and a you, lot of people on streams, YouTubers, streamers, uh, gamers in general, gamers in general, game companies, yep, all come and, together, and, yeah. pretty much to show off their game nerdiness. Really, yeah, just like Comic Con or Generic Con or any of the other cons, Dragon Con, all, all the cons, really. Yeah. Uh, so Otacon. Otacon's one. Uh, we were lucky enough this year uh, to get tickets or badges technically yes tickets. badges uh, I have more badges than Adam generally uh, just because I'm a better trainer than he was and I can I can now train Charizard well he can't he's still over there with a douche Charizard do, do you know what Charizard's done to me? Yeah. I do <laughs> who thinks he gave the order? I trained him god damn it and yes Pax East <laughs> 
But yes, we will be at PAX East. Um, unfortunately, in the, not even kidding this, 30 seconds between Jacob buying his tickets and me buying mine, Saturday sold out. I didn't get the last Saturday tickets. I'm not even joking. He said, he, he messaged me, I just bought my PAX tickets. I was already on the site and I clicked to buy three days worth and it it said Saturday was sold out and I had to refresh. Yep. But I did get Friday and Sunday. Yep. Which are two of the bigger days. Uh, two of the three days. <laughs> well, Friday is a big day. So Friday is a big day. Sunday is more of a cleanup day and a lot of the end of tournaments. Yes. Which are really cool. Which, yep. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think you're not going to miss much. Saturday seems like a big signing day. And if you're not into certain people, it's not going to be that big for you. Uh, PAX East is at Boston, like every year. It's right on the harbor, actually. It's actually in a pretty cool place. We've been in Boston since 2010. Yep. Well, every year for six years now. It's their 20th anniversary. Yep. Uh, very nice. Uh, there actually is a PAX out in California. Yeah, PAX but West. I think it's already passed. I'm not sure. It did. It passed, I think, last month. Okay. Hey, you'll be in California. I will be in July yes. for Comic Con. Hopefully. I'm getting <laughs> tickets this Saturday. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully, I can get to New York Comic Con this year. But, but yeah, so that's, I believe, what, two weeks away? Two weeks away. So, mm-hmm. in two weeks, uh, luckily, it's not going to interfere with this show. No. Nope. Uh, we might be a little more hyped that day uh, in two weeks. But uh, pretty much just a big announcement that we're going to be going. We're going to see as, see if we can get as much content as we can. Yep. Apologize, it's not much, but uh, we're going to be trying to keep our phones charged at all times, take some pictures, take some videos. Tweeting, you know, the yep. usual stuff. Uh, which all will most likely be available on the Game Spectrum's website if you want to check it out. Uh, in case, you know, you do live in California, you can't come. Or if you just live in New York and was unfortunate not, unfortunate not to get any tickets. Oh, the Facebook page, too, yeah. Also, Things will be posted on the Facebook page. Yeah. Which I think all the tweets should go to the Facebook page. It doesn't or all work. Facebook pages goes to tweets. It doesn't matter. It, it's integrated. It's, yeah, we got it's learning. We got this on lock. It's okay. okay. So, you know, definitely keep an eye out for that uh, on those days. Uh, yeah. If you message us or something, you know what I mean? We'll try to see if we can't accommodate something that you want to see if we have time. Yeah. But no promises because there's a lot to see and there's there a lot that we a lot. personally want to see. Um, I know that you want to meet your uh, YouTube heroes. Yes, I do. Uh, hopefully, I actually, hopefully, I'll be able to meet them. I actually just re- found out uh, one of the ones from 11.30 to 12 on Friday, all the people that do Minecraft modding, all of you that write the mods, <laughs> are going to be there. Fuck. All of them? All, every modder in the world? No, all the ones with big ones. Like, okay. uh, all the FTB packs. Oh, okay. Like, the ones that are officially sanctioned by Mojang, they're like, these are the mod creators. We pay them. Okay. <laughs> Like those guys. Okay. I, I like that. Uh, that, so. be, that being said, if you see us at PAX East, if anyone who ever sees us is at PAX East and you see us, if you say hi, I will probably love you forever, honestly. Because <laughs> you recognize me from the internet, man. Even if you don't, you know, say hi because you recognize us here, if you just want to say hi because we look like cool people or yes. nerdy people or you just want to be like, hey, you, get out of my way. I'll probably still love you forever. Yeah. you said something to me. We'll hug you. And if you didn't see this, you say, hey, get out of your way, and retroactively watch this episode, and I hug you, I apologize. <laughs> if, if you hug someone that says, hey, get out of my way, they'll probably never say, hey, get out of my way to you again. They'll probably be, excuse me, sir. Or they'll say, hey, get out of my way a lot, and then I take them back to New York. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hey, if you can get tickets to Comic-Con this weekend, I'm coming to Comic-Con. So, maybe you can see me there. And like I said... There is a PAX West every year, too. I would definitely suggest checking it out next year if you get a chance. It is a lot of fun. We don't have kick, unfortunately. Sorry. We can't be on everything. Yeah. But unfortunately, that is our time for this week. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you in the chat for being yes. very active this week. Uh, Johnny you know, and Fear, thank you guys for showing up. Yep. Uh, messages on Facebook or Twitter or you yep. know what I mean? Tweet at us on any yep. topics that you want us to cover. Have a great day. Yep. Thank you all, and have a good night.